I've, I've prepared a, a presentation, but I, um, I'd like to also have a discussion with you um, about uh, resilience. I've entitled it uh, Towards Resilience Cities. But resilience is in, in, in my idea about resilience is maybe more than a lot of people's, but maybe not. Um, in the Netherlands, when we talk about resilience, it's very often uh, primarily associated to uh, climate uh, issues and climate adaptation. Um, not so much um, social economic uh, in the Netherlands, so this is one of my key uh, interests. And not, not so much uh, mitigation, and actually my, my definition and approach to resilience is much more integral. So I really uh, approach it in terms of mit mitigation and as well as adaptation uh, strategies. And uh, one of the key issues that I'm really interested in is how can um, adaptation and uh, mitigation um, uh, contribute uh, positively to the social economic situation that we're facing in Rotterdam. Rotterdam, I'm sure you've heard, is, a, is, is a, uh, an interesting city. It's one of the only cities in the Netherlands that's actually getting younger. There is a, a growing number of young people. In, in Holland we have an aging population. In Rotterdam we actually have a, I don't know what the right English term for is, but our population is getting younger. But there's also a huge mismatch uh, on, on the labor market in Rotterdam. We have uh, roughly 35 to 50,000 young unemployed youths in Rotterdam. And if you think about our total population, which is only a million, it's tiny. I mean, a million is, I think, one neighborhood in uh, New York. Eh? So it's, we have a, a lot of un unemployment. And at, at the same time, we also have jobs in the technical sector. We have jobs in, in the harbor and in, in, in the healthcare sector. But there's a mismatch. And one of the key ideas about resilience, I think, is coming up with um, strategies um, designing not only the physical but also the processes and, uh, around realizing the physical to uh, empower people. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's uh, something that I, I think you're actually way ahead of us uh, in terms of empowerment and, and, and participation. Um, but it's something that really intrigues me and maybe that's because I come from South Africa and in South Africa it's, uh, it's just common sense. Uh, there are a number of things that you have to deal with uh, whenever you w develop a project. You always have to think about a local community. You have to think about how you can engage them, how you can get them to participate, and how you can empower them. Uh, one of the things we always talk about in South Africa is the notion of sweat equity. Uh, people don't have money, but they have hands, they have time, and they're willing to do something. And actually, a lot of those kind of models, and maybe models that you can share with us, are becoming more and more relevant and interesting in a Dutch context. In, uh, until recently, up until five years ago, the economic crisis, we had uh, so much affluence here that everything was just about concept. Um, uh, if you, you can see it in the architecture. Uh, and slowly, in the last five, five years, people have started to, to, well, the bubbles burst, obviously. I don't have to explain that to you. But people have started to realize we really have to, uh, if we want to change our, our results, we really have to rethink the whole approach. Um, so I'd like to share some projects with you. Um, I always have too many slides, uh, so excuse me, uh, forgive me for that. Um, you can also, we can also, we don't have to look at all my slides, but I just want to show you some of my, my work, um, maybe just to, to open a discussion. And feel free to interrupt me, feel free to, to tell me that it's, uh, it's bullshit, uh, or that you agree, or whatever. Uh, but I really would like to have a dialogue and not just, uh, not just stand here sending, uh, sending to you. But I, I start with um, a project which is actually quite a, an important project for me. It was about 13, 14 years ago, my thesis project, my final, my master's thesis project, um, which altered my thinking about architecture. And it was a project that was um, called...